good afternoon from London and it's a sunny but cool afternoon here in London and hello from me Dr Dermot Hudson the chairman of the British group for the study of the Duke Chaitia, chairman of the UK Korean French Association an official delegate of the Korean French Association for the UK and president of the Association for the study of Sungan politics. I uh, haven't made a video for a while so I thought I would make one. I'm also going to be uploading uh, some materials uh, uh, from some pro DPRK sites in the next uh, few days as well. Uh, so what I thought I'd do today is uh, actually read out the paper that I uh, presented to the online uh, meeting organised by the European Regional Society for the study of uh, the Duce idea. They held an online meeting uh, about two weeks ago on the 24th of October uh, to mark the 35th anniversary of the foundation of the European uh, Regional Society for the Study of the Duce Idea, which uh, was uh, founded in uh, Paris uh, back in 1985. Uh, one of the leading figures in it is Professor Edmond Jouve, uh, who I believe is the, the president or chairman of it. Uh, you know, it struggled uh, for a long uh, time to uh, encourage the study and dissemination of the Duce idea in Europe and fight for the independence of Europe. Our British group for the study of the Duce idea uh, is proud to be able to participate in this society and we have attended the regional seminars that were organised in 2014, 2017 and 2019 and of course we were represented in the online meeting uh, that was uh, participated in uh, by uh, people from Britain, uh, from France, from Finland, uh, uh, from Italy and uh, from uh, Romania and I presented a paper uh, with the title The Social Crisis, Democracy and the Duce Idea. Uh, so I thought you know for this afternoon uh, you know I'll do I'll actually read this uh, paper out here uh, you know to share it uh, with uh, our audience on uh, YouTube. Uh, normally, uh, with this channel, when I appear on it, I, I you know, speak without notes. Uh, so this time I'll be uh, reading uh, from uh, my my uh, my paper. This is the first time, you know, I would have read out a a uh, text over over the channel. So anyway. Uh, the paper is, as said, it's called uh, The Social Crisis, Democracy and the Duce Idea and it was presented by myself, Dr Derm Hudson, to the online meeting of the European Regional Society for the Study of the Duce Idea. And it uh, is as follows. Today, Britain and Europe face a most severe social crisis along with a political and economic crisis. At the same time, the very limited democratic rights, which are already inherently constrained because bourgeois democracy is not a real democracy, but democracy only for the rich, are under threat from creeping fascism or fascistization by the monopoly rule capitalist ruling class. Many European countries, such as Spain, Italy, France and Britain, have been severely affected by the COVID-19 pandemic and have been able to contain or control the pandemic. In my own country, Britain, has 
been severely affected by COVID-19. So far, officially, 42,875 people have uh, died from COVID-19. Uh, but it is thought that, in fact, the figure is far higher. And I'll just break off for a minute and point out that, uh, you know, uh, you know that was the uh, figure at the uh, time of uh, writing. Of course, that figure is now much higher. At the moment, COVID-19 cases in the UK are were are increasing rapidly. Recently, 17,000 new cases reported in just one day. Although the death rate from COVID-19 is not as high as it was in March and April, it shows signs of rising again. The COVID-19 pandemic has had a number of serious effects on society in the UK. First of all, it has caused the capitalist crisis to deepen and many people have lost their jobs. It was reported that 1 million 398,000 people are out of work, but the figure is quite high, higher. Many shops and businesses have closed down permanently. Some areas have become ghost towns, almost. It is predicted that UK GDP will fall by 35%. If this happens... It will be much worse than the recessions in the 1970s and the 1980s. The lockdown imposed by the authorities from March to June, which resulted in many people being stuck at home and isolated, resulted in an increase of cases of mental illness as well as family breakup and domestic violence. The UK government of Boris Johnson has shown itself to be incompetent and unable to deal with the pandemic. The Johnson regime is heavily reliant on civil servants and advisers to make decisions and instead of having clear rules for the lockdown uh, have come out with ambiguous and confusing rules. During the early spring period the U in the UK, the situation was very difficult because some cl shops closed and there were shortages of items such as food and toilet paper in some shops, as well as rising prices. But the government did nothing to help people. The pandemic situation in the UK and European countries stands into stark contrast uh, to how people's career has dealt with the COVID-19 situation. Today, the DPRK is the only country in the world without a single COVID-19 case. What is the secret? Well, the DPRK took early measures against COVID-19, such as closing the border in January, even before the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a pandemic. Other measures included extending school holidays, getting people to wear masks, rigorous disinfection of public areas, medical checkups for people, health education, and quarantining foreigners within the borders of the DPRK. The DPRK's experience in dealing with COVID 19 is a model for other countries to follow. Really, the 42,875 deaths in COVID-19 in the UK could have been avoided if the D UK had done the same as the DPRK and shut the border completely. But instead, Heathrow Airport remained open during the lockdown. Isn't this completely crazy? Our rulers in the UK are elitist, anti-people and incompetent. They lack the vision to implement simple and direct solutions to the problems. Whereas Duce Korea follows the people-orientated policy. Respected Marshal Kim Jong-un, a true people's leader, convened a meeting of the political bureau of the Central Committee of the Workers' Party Korea on the 29th of February this year, at which it was discussed, taking nationwide 
top class anti-epidemic steps in a more thoroughgoing way and strictly putting them into practice in order to cope with the viral epidemic spreading rapidly around the world and also measures to deter the influx and spread of the infectious disease in a scientific, preemptive and lockdown way. At the same time, respected Marshal Kim Jong-un had officials guilty of bureaucratic behaviour removed. This (coughs) contrasts with the incompetence of many leaders in the capitalist world who failed to take any decisive measures to stop the situation getting out of control. Really, COVID-19 is a consequence of globalisation, neoliberalism, capitalism and the incompetence of rulers of capitalist countries. What shines through is the superiority of the Juche-based socialist system of people's career. DPRK is based on self-reliance, has rejected globalisation and has built a self-reliant independent national economy. The socialist system of people's career is based on single-hearted unity. It can mobilise resources to fight against epidemics in a way that class divided conflict ridden capitalist societies cannot do so the fact that there are no covid 19 cases in people's career is testimony to the superiority of duce based socialism recently the dpik was able to hold massive celebrations including a great military parade celebrate the 75th anniversary of the Workers' Party in Korea. The DPRK is the only country in the world to hold such large-scale celebrations. Again, this proves the decisive superiority of the people-centred socialist system and the Duce idea. Even before COVID-19, the UK was facing a deep societal crisis. Many social problems such as family breakdown, drug addiction, sexual crime and gang violence are rampant. Cultural levels are falling. For example, statistics show that 16% of the population is illiterate. I remember, even back in the 70s, some people left school without being able to read and write. Whilst the reactionary authorities have not taken measures to safeguard people, against COVID-19. At the same time, they've taken steps to limit the very limited democracy. For example, legislation on COVID-19 was rushed through Parliament. Local elections have been suspended. A law giving the legal right to UK intelligence services to kill opponents of the country has been passed. Measures have been taken to gag dissenters. For example, although I do not approve of the views of conspiracy theorists, at least one prominent so, uh, conspiracy theorist has been banned from social media. Even more sinister uh, is the uh, fact uh, that uh, some left-wing groups have had posts deleted or banned on social media. Recently, our British group for the study of the Duce idea and UK Korean Friendship Association produced a study guide to the Duce philosophy, but Facebook banned it. Also in the UK, there has been talk of passing legislation to ban, and I quote, support for hostile states or to ban propaganda on behalf of hostile states. This could restrict solidarity activities in support of people's career and the study of the Duce idea. More earlier recently, there has been a severe media attack on our Korean Friendship Association, making false accusations using heavily edited illegal surveillance material of the association over many years by a spy. It is the opinion of some in our British group for the study of the Duce idea that the UK is heading for fascism. In our view, Duce idea followers must fight hard for democratic rights and against fascism. In today's world, 
People's Career, led by respected Marshal Kim Jong-un, stands out as an example of true people's democracy. Marshal Kim Jong-un is the elected head of state and elected chairman of the Central Committee of the Workers' Party of Korea. He is enjoying far more popular support than any Western head of state in history. In the DPRK general election held in March 2019, 99.97% of all voters took part in the election and 100% of them voted for the candidates. A demonstration of the decisive of decisive support and single-hearted unity. in the DPRK. What of the situation in capitalist countries? In the US presidential election in 2016, voter turnout was only 55%. In the UK general election uh, in December 2019, 67% of electors voted and the ruling party was elected with the votes of only 20% of electors. Clearly the leaders of imperialist countries have no democratic mandate to rule, whereas Marshall Kim Jong-un and the Workers' Party of Korea does. The DPRK is a people's democracy, a socialist democracy. In People's Korea, deputies of the Supreme People's Assembly, the highest organ of power, are honourable servants of the people. Ordinary workers are deputies to the Supreme People's Assembly. A street cleaner is even a deputy to the Supreme People's Assembly. There is no need for pe to compete for a place in parliamentary easy street, but rather a matter of the people choosing the best people for the job, people they have confidence in. Thus, elections in the DPRK are a civilised affair. Moreover, the turnout is virtually 100% and people sing and dance in uh, on election day in the dprk people exercise power at all levels from the humble people's neighborhood unit to the supreme people's assembly to conclude i say let us uphold the example duce based people's democracy of duce korea let's fight hard for the for democratic rights and let's oppose fascism Long live People's Career, long live Juche, long live the Workers' Party of Korea, long live respected Marshal Kim Jong-un. And uh, so ends uh, my paper. I uh, would uh, strongly uh, stress that the Juche idea is relevant to Britain and to Europe, and uh, I think uh, we should do more to... Uh, uh, attempt to apply it to Britain and uh, study it in depth. You know, there's some uh, uh, people like to uh, dismiss the Duce idea or say it's only relevant uh, to Korea, but uh, uh, the Duce idea is in fact uh, universal and can be uh, applied in all countries, but of course in a creative and independent manner. Uh, thank you for listening to this video uh if you've uh, liked it uh, uh, please subscribe to the channel if you're not already uh, uh if you haven't already done so and in the meantime i say to everyone in uh, these uh, dangerous times of the covid19 pandemic uh please stay safe have a good day and goodbye